never compromise the Assassin Brotherhood. I was a young man then. The Seven Years' War was about to begin. I could not have imagined what the future had in store for me, nor the cost I would choose to bear. My name is Shay Patrick Cormac. This is my story. Like for firewood, at least. <laughs> Admit it, I nearly had you. <laughs> nearly counts for nothing, Shay. And besides, no, that was just luck. <laughs> I make my own luck, Liam. Ah, you've been saying that for years, but you're precious little to show for it. Or have you been spending it all getting out of trouble? Well, you know. Trouble just follows me around. Let's head back. Come on. Captain Deliver André and his crew must have run into some trouble. Who knew meeting with smugglers would lead to no good? I still don't understand why you can't tell me what we're doing here. Because Chevalier decided not to tell you. I thought we were friends, Liam. We are. But this is business. It doesn't concern you, Shay. Am I going too fast for you? I'm just keeping an eye on you, in case you fall down and hurt yourself. Let's not keep Chevalier waiting. I'm so sick, Peter. This is the... Where the hell were you two? We were out hunting. What happened here? My men were attacked by some English sea dogs. Why, Captain Joseph, couldn't you fight them all off by yourself like you're always saying? It is Capitaine Louis-Joseph Gauthier, Chevalier de la Verandrie. And you are dreaming if you think any training could make you into a proper assassin. Do you even know what that means? It means being responsible for an ancient and proud tradition. It means obeying your mentor without question. How else will we ensure freedom for the human race? Those pretty words, Chevalier. But I don't feel too free at the moment. Well then, feel educated! How dare you show me such disrespect! How dare you show me such disrespect! How dare you show me such disrespect! Gentlemen, stop! We got a common enemy, and I reckon he's close! The Royal Navy attack my vessel and force my men to flee. We are stranded, and what is worse, the smugglers we were supposed to meet have been taken prisoner. Shay and I are free, those smugglers. You, treat your wounded. Take these. You'll need them. Tread with care, Shay. The Royal Navy be ready for us. Remember your training. Ready to teach him a lesson? They don't stand a chance. Where are Not your mates bad. now, you bilge rat? Go off before I smash out your brain! 
We will Keep find out, them. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. I was saving those fellas for you. Very thoughtful. Maybe you were not completely useless, Sheik. Speaking of useless, those blockheads won't be needing this vessel anymore. This pile of mail? You want her, Shay? She is yours. Now bring me back to my ship. You heard, Chevalier? This vessel is yours, Shay. Go on. Take the wheel. Some of the men you rescued agreed to join us. They should prove a good crew. I'm not so certain about their capture. But next to me, you are the most experienced sailor in the Brotherhood chain. Besides, we could use another vessel. Even this pitiful one. She's mine, ain't she? My own ship. Your own pile of garbage, yes. Ah, with a lick of paint and a few new cannons, she'll look as fine as anything on the Seven Seas. Shall we begin, Captain? Indeed, mate. Oh, come now. She's a mess, but she's still afloat. Made the bargain. Morgan! That silly fairy queen who ruined Merlin, the wise? Oh, she's perfect for you, Shay. Margot is an old goddess. She's the queen of war and darkness. She harvested the souls of fallen warriors. Perfect indeed. A ship! This is a ship. They will sink her! Let's put the Margot to the test, Captain Shay. Ready for battle, man! Stop them, boy! Captain, move! Fuck! 
vessel is not already off the road. We will return to what is left of the ship. It's a long way home. We have repairs to do. Sing hearty, lads. Chevalier is pleased with us. Now you're ready to sail for the horn. We're all in go. Our boots and our clothes boys are all in the horn. We're all again fancy dancing. What course would you have me set, Shay? Time to report back to the mentor. Wouldn't you agree? Wise words, Captain. Wise words. did you do? It's some kind of dormant virus? Shit. Hang on, I'm getting you out of there. Sorry for the rough exit. Your piece working, check. You were just an anonymous. Anonymous, yes? You were using it to access a genetic memory file in Helix labeled Shea Cormac? You work for Upstergo Entertainment, remember? Any of this ringing a bell. Your session triggered something bad, and it's affecting the whole building. We need to find your boss. You haven't forgotten your boss, have you? Melanie LeMay, zipper, chipper, overachiever. Here, take your communicator. Check it if you got lost. Now let's get out of here. Follow me. Double time. This chaos is absolutely your fault, in case you're wondering. Come on, everyone. Just like we practiced in our safety drills. Everything is going to be okay, guys. Stay positive. What the hell is happening? A file labeled Shea Cormac was booby-trapped with some kind of virus. Your job is to prevent things like this. We need to contain these genetic memories, then we can destroy them. No. Isolate them. I want to study these memories. But... With respect, Miss Vinay, this is not a request. You heard the man. Fine. I need to borrow your numbskull. That okay with you, Ms. LeMay? Hey there, this might seem a bit weird, but you're gonna work for contractors we hired to, you know, upgrade our security. Mr. Otto Berg and Ms. Violet DaCosta. Call me Violet. I have to go check on our people and prepare a statement for the press. Do whatever they tell you to do, okay? Go team! Technically, you're not responsible for this, but you're the one who let the virus out, so I think it's only fair you help me clean it up. Mr. Berg wants us to relive Shay's genetic memories. To do that, we need to access them from Helix. But the Helix is down. We'll have to reboot the main servers in the basement. Man, whoever designed this virus is a genius. Not only does it restrict our access to the cloud, it's adapted to fuck up the other operating systems that regulate building functions. Melanie, the elevators are out of commission. Are we stuck on this floor? Damn, yes. I'll get a repair crew on site ASAP. There's a working area server on this floor. I guess it'll have to do for now. Agent DaCosta, I want regular updates on your progress with Shay's genetic memories. Why? He's just a nobody as far as I can tell. If Shay Cormac is who I suspect he is, then this temporary setback may provide us with an unexpected reward. Proceed to the server room on this floor. Do you see a flashing wireless signal? Once you restore the server, I'll connect your Animus workstation back to Helix. In theory, if you align the beams to segments of the core, it should solve the problem. But here's where it gets tricky. You have to move the circles in such a way that each segment is powered by a beam. The keyword here is each. One beam and one beam only per core segment, okay? Once everything is lit up properly, the system will reboot. Got it? Give it a shot.
Good job. This core wasn't too complex. But rebooting the advanced hardware in the rest of the building will require more work. The assassins would have you believe that Al Mualim was a great mentor who became corrupted with greed. And that he schemed with the Templars to acquire an apple of Eden. I see instead a shrewd and cunning leader. A man who used his best assassin, Altair ibn Lahad, to eliminate his conspirators in order to keep the apple for himself, so that he could use it to enforce world peace. While it must be stated unequivocally that Al Mualim was not a Templar, it is interesting to me that his vision of peace was more in line with Templar philosophy than assassin. In the past, both sides had the same goal, that of peace. Our only difference was how we chose to achieve it. Had Al Mualim not been killed by Altair and allowed to carry out his plan, perhaps we would not be fighting now. It was only after Altair reformed the Brotherhood with its new ideals of free will that the conflict truly escalated and spread across the planet. For if the so called The assassins would have you believe that Al Mualim was a great mentor who became corrupted with greed, and that he schemed with the Templars to acquire an apple of Eden. <laughs> it has been a long time. Achilles! Adewale, how go things in the West Indies? Very poorly, I'm afraid. Your countenance tells me we should discuss this. Come. Who's our visitor? That's Adewale. He's a slave who freed himself, and hundreds of his brothers in the West Indies. That man's a living incarnation of the Creed. I see. You join me for some practice? Soon. I've got uh, other business first. Tell me what happened, old friend. It was terrible, Achilles. The ground shook, and the ocean waves crashed over Port-au-Prince. How many were lost? Thousands. No family was left untouched. I hate to bring up practical matters at a time like this. But did my Wally looked worried earlier. I heard that Liam's waiting for you. Seen him yet? I hear Mistress Hope was looking for you. You are late. Oh, what did I miss? Only the first hour of training. We're always training, Kasegawase. And we'll continue to do so. Do not waste your words. She abhors improvement as much as cats abhor leashes. Hey. A pity. The boy has so much potential. But so little discipline. All right. All right. What would you have me do? Well played. So, what's the challenge today? Shooting straight and true. Here, you can use these. These are yours. Well, I want you to have half a chance of succeeding. Go on.
Shoot these targets. You can take your time. Not too much. It's more work after this. Reload. Anyone can hit targets standing still. Let's see how you do on the run. Come on, hurry up! You can do better, Shay. Try again. Faster. Almost there. Well done, Shay. Keep it up. You're doing all right, Shay. But don't let the others vex you. They mean well, but they'll never show it. It's about time you showed up. Far be it for me to keep a lady waiting. I'm no lady here. Don't you forget it. I'm your teacher, and you're better. Well, some of that is true, at least. What will we be doing? Exploring a myriad ways to end a life. You two! Make yourselves useful and watch Shay. Can you kill without being noticed? Top form, Shay. Attack I see him around there. a corner, and your target will never know what hit him. Nicely done. I am surprised. He's right there! Take the high ground, Shay. Dispatching from the air is most effective. Classic haste. Hide in it and surprise your target when he gets close. You certainly know. Handle yourself. Get 
Tough form, Shay. You did better than I expected. Have your skills actually grown, Shay? <laughs> Do not get a swelled head over it. Shay, follow me. It's time you learn to survive in the frontier. I think I've been managing well enough so far. Perhaps. But there is more I can teach you. Good assassins never fall. Climb back up. Climb back up. Climb back up. It is time for the hunt. Use all your senses together to find prey. Killing should not be meaningless. We must use what nature gives us. Good. Now to use what you have taken from nature. With these, you can keep your pistols close. Achilles has one more thing to show you. Farewell for now. Say, I hear you've become quite the marksman. Generous gift. Thank you, Mentor. My ship awaits, Achilles. The people of Haiti will make good use of your supplies. I trust you will retrieve what has been lost. Lost? The Templars stole two precious artifacts. A manuscript of ancient wisdom and a box that allows one to understand its language. I have tracked the Templar as far as his coast. But I fear the rest is up to you, my friend. Farewell, Adiwale. Whoever controls the artifacts can access precursor sites of power. We must recover them, or none are safe. <laughs> 